everyone, I'm really excited to announce the release of my very first book, A Call to the Heart, Shifting Out of Ego into Spirit. It's been a labor of love for about the last year and a half, so it's so exciting to see it finally come into physical form, and I can't wait to share it with all of you. Um, I've always held, held the intention that this book would be my way of serving others in their spiritual awakening. I see it as me using my own journey by, to live out loud to show others how to do the same. So basically how this book came about is that, I, I call it divine inspiration. I see that God started to work through me as I experienced a pull to write that I just could not not follow. And I simply just followed that inspiration and ultimately it came to this, so that was quite exciting and that is actually a huge element in the book which is to get to that place, to get to that space, to where we're guided to do what we were meant to do, what we were sent here to do on, with our lives, to help, to help others. Our lives are always about being in service to others. I didn't always know that, and this book chronicles all that I had to do to come to learn that lesson and to align with love. Um, I use this book, or use my experiences of each time that I learned a lesson for what was ultimately helping me to make small incremental adjustments to ultimately align with love, or at least to see that as the goal that I want to have. And now I do. I look at all of my situations, all of my relationships, all, all of my experiences, all of my circumstances, and I always ask that I be able to see the choice for love instead of fear. And I ask that I be guided in choosing love every time. And of course, that does not happen every time, but I've set that as the goal and so that I have my assignments whenever they come up. And this book is just basically chronicling the beginning of that journey. It chronicles from going from having no connection whatsoever to God to coming to know a conscious relationship with Him and seeing every experience that was leading me closer and closer to love, which I would refer to as God. It is about opening ourselves to more, more compassion more kindness, and mainly through the letting go of stuck energy and the way of forgiving, forgiving ourselves and forgiving others. Um, I break it down in a real simple way. I just look at my everyday experiences and I talk about exactly what happened and how I came to the specific aha moments or spiritual insights that I came to as a way of hopefully serving others by helping, the, helping each of you to look at your life in a similar light, to look at it through the lens of ego versus spirit, to look at it through the lens of love instead of fear. And that's what the, any spiritual awakening is about. It's about shifting from a fear-based mindset to a love-based mindset. And we are in one of the most exciting times right now. We are in a huge, huge collective conscious awakening. And I think it's just like so exciting to be born and to be a part of this time right now. Um, and I'm just hoping to play my role in that divine plan and play that role of service and play that role of showing up and using my life in the way in the ways that I was meant to use it, in the ways that I'm being guided to use it. And I'm hoping that I would encourage all of you to do the same. But first, like me, it takes breaking down a lot of these old, old illusions or old beliefs and old ways of looking at things. And just the simple way to do that is just to start looking at our everyday experiences through a new light, through a light of choosing love instead of fear and everything will be shown to you whenever you make that goal. And this book is just meant to help you get kick-started on that journey, to start just looking at something as simple as, what are your triggers? Why do you get mad? Why do you get frustrated? What are those things that are really going on that is driving that behavior, and how can you look at it differently so that you, can choose, so that you start to align with love? It's more than just an arm wrestling match with ego or against fear. It is an actual shift into love, and where you just start living from that space. Um, it just is a natural part of our being that we've just been blocked from, and that's how I experienced this journey. I was extremely, extremely blocked from, um, not from love per se, but I was blocked from my spiritual connection. I was disconnected from feeling that something greater was guiding me. Um, and what I come to see now is just to place complete trust in that. And I know that for someone just starting in that journey, that's a lot to ask. It's like jumping on a bike, having never gone through the process of putting on the training wheels. So um, hopefully this book can serve as, a, as those beginning training wheels. And the idea is to kick them off when it's time and to just to start your own process and knowing how to have a trusting relationship with your higher self or a higher power and guiding you in this life. So it's always been my intention to use this book for service, and I hope that that's exactly what it accomplishes. Thank you.